What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the last video. Today we are at the Drew League. I'm doing a Drew League special for you guys. I wanna show you all the behind the scenes. You get to see a little snippet of my highlights on Instagram. I'm gonna give you all the highlights on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes at the Drew League. And I'm gonna explain what the Drew League is, who comes to the Drew League. We had Jarvis Landry come through earlier and check out some of the games. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to check out our game. Um, he's gonna come back next week for our game. Uh, but the, it's a packed house in there. We're playing a good team. It's week six. We're getting deep into the Drew League and NBA players are starting to show up. So let's get out to the Drew League. We'll show you what it's all about. I hope you enjoy the video. rundown right now of what the Drew League is, who plays in the Drew League, the history of the Drew League, and what the fuss is all about right now. 
So everybody talks about the Drew League. Um, of course, we see it on Ball is Life. We see it on Mars Real. We see it on Overtime. The Drew League is everywhere with highlights from the biggest players in the NBA, in college, in high school, um, street ball legends. But the Drew League goes all the way back to 1973. The Drew League has been established for over 40 years, but the importance is how the Drew League started. The Drew League started in 1973 in South Central LA as a place where kids could get off the street and go and play in a safe community and basically learn life lessons through basketball. The Drew League started off this way and throughout the years has just continued to develop and develop and develop, um, having some of the biggest names in street ball in in the NBA, in college, in high school, etc. It's been one of the more established basketball leagues in Los Angeles for the past 40 years. Uh, there's really no other league like it that's organized, that has refs, that has scorekeeping, that has announcers. Um, the energy and the feeling that you get in that gym is unlike anything else in LA. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I would say in the last 10 years, Nike has taken on a huge role in the Drew League. They sponsor everything. There's trainers there that stretch you out. Um, there's content, people taking content all over the place. Uh, referees, uh, literally everything. Uh, Nike covers uh, the uniforms. Um, they give shoes to the winners. Nike has taken a huge part in the Drew League in creating a brand around the Drew League. And I think that in the last 10 years has really, really blown it up. The reason I love to play in the Drew League is because I uh, never went to play professional basketball overseas. I saw my career early to move back to LA and to get into entertainment and the Drew League still allows me to have that feeling of playing professional but also being in LA, playing with all the guys that I know, NBA players, college guys, high school guys, and also be able to get content for you guys. And I love playing in the Drew to be able to show you guys the skills that I've created over the years and the tons of hours that I've put into basketball and to be able to go out there and play and in front of friends, in front of family and, and show what, what I've worked on in my craft. It's just, it's so fun for me. Um, and I know you guys love the basketball content. When I first got into the Drew League, I started playing Meta World Peace and the Pandas. I played with JaVale McGee and Jug Life and now I am playing with Baxter's Legacy. So far since I've been there, we've been 4-0. Current record is 5-2, I believe. The NBA players are starting to come. So things are really heating up in the Drew League. Playoffs are coming up. Unfortunately, I will be missing one game. Uh, hopefully, we still get the dub. Good luck to the guys in the Drew. Now, of course, you guys see the biggest names in the Drew League. Uh, you see tons of NBA players from Montrez Harrell to James Harden to DeMar DeRozan. Um, we've seen Sharif O'Neal this summer. I think it just really gives guys an opportunity to show their stuff, uh, especially now with all these outlets like Ball's Life and Overtime to come out and get content on these guys and sh give you guys entertainment. But also it allows people in the LA community and also the surrounding communities to come out and see people in person. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. I would just recommend getting there early if you ever plan on going. It being free is the best part because a lot of people can't afford to go to college, uh, NBA games, and it really is a different experience. It's, you're, you're so much closer to the players. You get to see the players' personalities. You get to see the players play. And you get to see the regular people play against the players, which is the most exciting thing, I think, for the community and for just people that want to hoop against pro athletes. I hope you guys enjoy the buckets. It is my pleasure to play for you guys and I try to get as many buckets and make as many flashy plays as I can to entertain you guys. If you guys do like this video, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it, it was a little bit of an off day. I didn't, I think I had like maybe 15, something like that in the game today, but we got the win, which was most important. Um, these weekends will start to get crazier and crazier as uh, the summer goes on, a lot of NBA players are going to start to come through. But if you guys like the video, make sure you throw a like, make sure you subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And until next time, we're out. Peace! Peace.